Hello guys, welcome back. This is the last video, I promise. This is the video where we will turn this into this, okay? Um, in the previous video, we created this responsive grid component and we need to call this responsive grid component inside the index dot tsx file which is the root page the home page for our application right uh, you can see that i went ahead and i updated this adding this one right here so the adding is already done so it's the exact match so all we have to do is to render the responsive grid component and do a little bit of CSS to make it look like this. Okay, in a previous video, as you know, I created a comment to tell us where to call the um, responsive grid component. So I can just say responsive grid, boom, and this auto imported right here. Good, cool. And I need to pass the articles. And these articles are coming from the API fetching response. So from here, fetch it articles. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it's saving. Let's see. Okay, um, we are getting an error and this is common to happen. So basically I do not have, and I need to have this host name right here. This host name needs to be in my next config JS file. You can read the documentation, okay, right? But I'm gonna show you the way that I did this and this works. So I have the grid, so I don't need this. So I go and navigate to my index index uh, page, which is the home page. Sorry, I'm lost. This is where I was. I need to navigate to the next.config file. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, in here, we need to do some stuff. Basically, we need to add stuff. What we are seeing on the screen right now, it's the code that came with the next installation, next JS installation. And we need to create another key, which is going to be images. And inside this object, I will have domains. There you go. And because I might have several domains, I'm gonna have an array, although I just need this one. So I'm not sure if I have it already copied or not, but I'm gonna put it right here. And I also need to do the remote patterns thing, which is gonna be an array of two objects. And basically I just need to say what the protocol is. And in this case it's HTTPS, okay, which is possibly the most likely to happen and I'm gonna uh, I think I might need the host name but I'm not really sure so I'm just gonna copy paste this one remove this let's see if this works or not ah because we are dealing with the next dot config.js file we should drop and restart the server okay i'm seeing already mm -mm. okay host name is definitely uh required so let's go and say host name and i'm just gonna say uh, okay i'm just gonna say this i think this is gonna work this is just basically some code that I found online. But I think this is gonna work and now I'm gonna drop my server. 
I'm going to drop the server. I'm going to clear this and I'm going to say NP, npm run dev. And this should be enough for me to restart this page and see the content getting rendered on the page. So the content that I'm fetching from the API. We will have to do a little bit of extra CSS, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. So we can read, okay, this is compiling. Okay, there you go. So you now have the content and we can actually check. So this is the first new news and this is the same one. So I'm gonna refresh both to make another request to the server to get the most updated content from the API. And this is the last article available in the um, in the API. Okay, but yeah, CSS is different, so we need to play with the image dimensions and the car dimensions, but we are getting there. So we are done with that part. So now we need to go to uh, styles, globals. First of all, as you can see, I do not have the browser's vertical scroll bar although I can scroll up and down, right? Now I wanna do the same for this one. So all I'm gonna be doing is to copy paste a bit of code that is widely available on the internet and that and does just that for me. So let's hide that horrible scroll bar, okay? While I'm recording, my computer gets a bit slow so this page refresh, page reloading, it's actually slower while I do this. So I got rid of that vertical scroll bar, but I can still scroll, amazing. So now let's just deal with the image and the image IMG, so any image coming from the API, each card gets one. I'm gonna say with um, auto, right uh, auto or 100% I think it's better and then height uh, I defined it 500 pixels in the original project and I want to give the object fit property object fit to be cover you do this with background images also What's wrong? Gosh. Uh, okay, nothing is wrong. It's just the usual delay. Um, so, why is the, okay, now the height is applied. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay the height is applied so definitely it is working but we want to give a specific height for this card and we don't have as you can see like this and this this one has a higher height so the height is a bit tricky and for that if i go back to my component to my add new article if i go to the part Okay, there you go. I added the ID card to the card component, so I can use that ID to target that. So I'm gonna say ID card, and then I can say the height to be 1100 pixels. And I'm also making a comment saying, test another values. So you need to play with this height in case you use a different, if you want a different layout. So I'm just recommending that. Um, just in case, because I do not want, I don't think this is going to happen in this particular project, but in other situations uh, it happens. We do not want the image or any content to go out of the card. So I'm gonna say overflow generally to be hidden, of course to be contained always inside the card. And then I'm not really sure because the thing is, 
see I have the arrow and when I hover I get the hand icon and, and at the bottom left I can definitely see it's a link it's clickable I'm not really sure I think the browser is actually adding this it's not a Next.js thing I'm not sure so just in case I'm gonna add cursor pointer I'm not sure if it's my browser I'm not sure exactly why I'm getting this so just in case I'm gonna add this in here so I'm gonna make a comment saying like is it necessary okay I'm not really sure so if you know why I got the same effect without declaring this CSS property and value just let me know in the comments because I'm not sure if it's coming from my own browser which is brave or if it's any browser or if it's a next.js thing but just in case I'm gonna leave this line here and uh, I think this is oh I need to refresh now to see the height getting applied and the height is now getting applied okay you play with the height and then you see what you like or not so there you go now it's totally exactly and we do have our um project finish it and that's it guys we successfully finished this project and this is the last video in this playlist so if you enjoy it this project and I know I know that I I am not using the app directory that mm, most of you prefer but the point the thing is when I started this project originally the app directory was not stable and recommended like it is now okay so I started this project maybe a few days before for that reason I did not update the playlist for a long time because I was not really sure if I wanted to continue this playlist or not but then I thought okay many people will prefer to see things with the app directory but there's plenty of things built with the pages directory so I think this content is still valuable if you agree with me just smash that like button and let me know in the comments because that actually motivates me of course um but yeah if you check my 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 channel content you will see that i have content using the app directory and i'm gonna let you know right away that for the future all the upcoming next.js projects will be built using the app directory so next.js 13.4 okay 13.4.4 I guess anyways so thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and learned stuff from me let me know what you think check the full playlist and hopefully I will not forget to add the source code for this project in this video's description which is the last one do not forget that when you download the source code you will need to run npm i to install the node modules folder because i will be deleting this so the first thing that you do after unzipping and opening uh, the folder inside visual studio code um, you have to run npm i and only after you can run npm run dev okay so this was it i hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much one more time and I will see you on the next one. Bye.